What's going on everyone? Welcome, Ravage here, and today I want to kind of look at Zephyr a little bit, and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate, so don't worry, throw it on me. The Monero mining community, it's large, the community in general is large, has a lot of people supporting it, but what if Zeph could at least perform as well as Monero and possibly better? I know guys, hit me, hit me now, comment section, it's ready to roll. So I'm not saying any of this stuff is going to happen. It's pure speculation, but I'm just kind of go over some things I've been seeing and stuff. So as we know, when Zeph first came out, we all just thought, you know what? This is just an XMR fork, which pretty much it is. It just forked XMR here. Uh, we can see the total supply is 8.4 million plus tail emissions of 0.6 Zeph per block. So once all this is minted, then there will still be block rewards, but they'll be very small, only 0.6. Now, if you actually look at Monero, it's the same thing. 8.4 million XMR will be mined. After that, it'll go to a tail emission of 0.6 XMR. Now, after a little bit here, we also have Haven Protocol did emerge, and it's actually built on the Monero blockchain. We can see right here, built on Monero and including XUSD, the world's first private stable asset so we got private stable coins happening on monero which is the og private network of them all in the proof of work crypto space so zeph also released or i believe forked haven as well and built that into the zeph chain for their own usd as well so now we got haven and monero mixed all into one on the Zeph blockchain, which is interesting because now it's all in one place instead of two separate protocols, which is what we see in Monero. So that's very interesting right there. And I don't know how the emission schedule or anything does work. We come into here, we can see a bunch of formulas and stuff going on. Now, I'm not a rocket scientist, so I don't know what any of these are really saying. Let me know if you know what they're saying. Now, one thing they do point out here in this emission curve section is Zephyr has been designed with a slightly slower emission curve compared to Monero. Monero. This design choice is aimed at rewarding early adopters by reducing their dilution over time. By slowing the initial emission, the potential inflationary impact on the price of Zeph is lessened, benefiting the stability of the algorithmic stablecoin system. So it sounds like it's not going to get down to that 0.6 uh, Zeph block reward like we have currently on XMR right now for a little bit longer, but it's still kind of following the same situation between the two. Here's just a little sheet I found about early XMR days. It's actually comparing it to Bitcoin. This was back in whatever date, 2014 that this was actually happening. That's already 1,966 days into Bitcoin. So here we can see kind of some emission schedule here. And it's pretty fast, like 25 days to go from 17 coins down to 16. Then it gets a little bit slower here. I think it was like 50 days to go from 16 to 15, another 50 days or so to go from 15 to 14 and so on. So it is a pretty fast, it's not a halving event or maybe if I did the math, it might be a halving event every couple years or something, but it does drop fairly fast there but i can't find anything like this or any definitive answer on when zeph rewards will actually be reducing the timelines and so on so that's still up in the air for me all right so as for the blockchains and what's really going on in the background i don't really have an idea i'm not a blockchain person i'm a crypto miner and this is what i see now about zeph and xmr looking back here at 2016 xmr look at the price of xmr at the time you know 91 cents you know upwards of a dollar dollar 25 dollar 60 dollar 97 dollar 80 some two dollars you know this is about the level zeph has been sitting at for a long time recently zeph is having a spike we can see here towards the end of 2016 that we did see a spike upwards of 13 dollars and 57 cents on XMR so that's quite interesting here and then you know a month or two later it did have a pullback down to four dollars and 54 cents now if you know anything about 2017 when that first major 2013 was a bull run XMR wasn't around then but 2017 was the first bull run XMR scene and it was the first major one that brought a lot of insights and people to crypto if we look into this and look at it look at 2017 we're coming in coming in still coming in and here's XMR's first spike it shot upwards to $458. That is huge coming in at only $1 to $2 or say. Now, if we look at Zeph right now, and it's been doing the same thing. We've been sitting out around the $2 range, $1.60, you know, $1.83, $1 to $2 to $3. It's actually doing a little bit better than what XMR was doing in 2016. And recently, right now, we're coming in towards the end of 2023 here. It shot up. We're at sitting at $11 here. Actually, it should be higher than that. It should be like $15 something. 
Let me just try to fix this max supply. What's going on here? There we go. So we actually seen a lightning shoot up recently of $15.92. We are two years away. So we're slightly early here on Zeph in this. But, you know, if we're following 2016 right now, I don't think it's really going to explode next year in 2024. But coming into the first bull run, 2025 for Zeph, same with Casper. A lot of coins I haven't seen bull runs. What if Zeph does hit? $400, $450. I know a lot of you guys are probably shaking your head. Nope, not enough money, recession, blah, blah. Ignore the media. Ignore all the garbage you see on TV. Zeph and crypto and all these things, they do different cycles every time. Things explode in these and they just defy the odds. So, you know, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm definitely pumped up for it to have the chance to do this. But if it hits $400, that's going to be insane. You guys could have a chance of getting in on early XMR. Imagine that. That's insane. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. But now we're going to look at some mining profitability. I've been mining this for a while when, it, like I said, it was only a dollar or two and stuff. I have sold like 800 Zeph at two bucks and obviously we see the price now that was a big mistake but you know i had to cover bills and all sorts of things that regardless i have a nice chunk still but we're looking at zeph now 15 dollars, and here's a single one 3900 x is at two dollars and ten cents before power cost my entire farm is sitting around 84 dollars now if this does hit four hundred dollars guys oh my gosh this is hauling this is where short-term site if you're looking at a mining hardware or something right now and saying roi two thousand days five thousand days you know you're doing it wrong you should look more into what mining does and stuff because you're looking into the future and what prices could hit again we don't know if these prices are going to hit but look at four hundred dollars that if that happens at mining at today's difficulty that is 3.2 million dollars being paid out to miners which is freaking huge but look at that $56, a single 3900X right now. My entire farm is over $2,000 a day on these CPUs. That's absolutely insane. Look at Bitmain's X5, which can only mine XMR. I bet you they're probably eyeballing this. They either have their own firmware and they're pre-mining the crap out of it because there is a lot of unknown hash rate right now and they're going to release it to try to sell miners. I have no idea, but right now it is making $36.55 a day. If that bull run comes in, this thing is going to be making... Nine hundred and seventy-four dollars a day. The current price of the X X five is like what twelve eighty, thirteen hundred dollars. You know, this thing's gonna ROI in four days if it hits four hundred dollars. Again, that's one hundred percent speculations. But looking at price history of twenty sixteen XMR versus the price history of Zeph right now in its early days, it's actually outperforming Monero right now and i don't know if it's because it has haven as well as xmr built into the single ecosystem maybe that has something to do with it you know i have no idea you know we usually say ah oh, fork it's just a fork but you know forks come from somewhere projects do things and we just have to see how the future will play out when it does come to zeph all right guys so that's uh just a little bit on zephyr that i have been seeing you know i don't know much about the blockchains other than obviously it's a fork of xmr they added in the haven protocol they whipped it around and called it their own thing but the potential here it's looking pretty darn big it looks huge so again i don't really know how this is going to play out let me know if you've heard of this coin let me know if you've been mining this coin let me know you know are you mining on a cpu a gpu a6 hard drives you know a lot of people have moved away from gpus and pretty much using everything else other than a gpu including myself but you know there's still a lot of uncertainty on how the future will play out let me know what you think on this whole situation down in the comment section i will see you on the next one rabbit out